Welcome to the Painted Playgrounds training video. My name is Mara Kepper and I'm a researcher at Pennington Biomedical Research Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Contrary to popular belief, research has shown that many preschoolers aren't as physically active as they need to be for good health and optimal social, cognitive, and physical development. We believe that adults, like you, are critical to helping children learn fundamental skills like jumping, hopping, skipping, and running that are crucial for them to participate in recreational activities, team sports, and a lifetime of physical activity. This video, in conjunction with our toolkit, will provide you with the knowledge and skills necessary to use painted stencils in your play area to help children be more physically active and develop fundamental motor skills. This film will show children ages three to five performing fundamental motor skills and will also demonstrate modifications of those skills so that you can help children tailor movements to their skill level and perform movements properly. Our toolkit, which is available on the website, will provide you with fun and safe games to play with painted stencils on your playground. Now let's get started demonstrating the six fundamental motor skills that can be practiced using painted stencils on your playground. Jump. During a horizontal jump, a child should take off and land on two feet while moving the body horizontally through space. This advanced jump would show children bending their knees before takeoff and using their arms to help project them forward. Arm movements would include bringing the arms back behind the trunk, forcefully overhead, and then positioning them by their side when landing. Children generally begin jumping vertically and then move towards horizontal movements. As children learn to jump, there is a gradual process of refining skills like takeoff and landing with both feet, jumping further distances, and using their legs and arms to help project them across further distances. Mirror Me, Sunflower Hopscotch, Hopscotch, and Keyboard Stencils can help children practice jumping further distances, jumping in different directions, which may be helpful with balance and coordination, and using classroom concepts like shapes, colors, and letters to reinforce classroom in a fun setting. Children can also work on stringing together multiple jumps in a row to spell words or complete a path. Hop. Hopping involves a child projecting and absorbing their body weight through space with just one limb while maintaining balance on the small base of support that one foot provides. Proficient hopping includes the legs swinging to lead the hip, arms moving in opposition to the legs, and the support leg extending fully, as well as bending at landing to absorb the force and prepare for the next takeoff. Similar to jumping, children learn to hop initially more up and down rather than moving through space and will refine these movements over time to cover more ground. Children also initially have arm and leg movements that occur at different rates, and we generally see children raise their knee up at almost a 90 degree angle to help balance the body while hopping. The keyboard, mirror me, hopscotch, bullseye, and the agility core stencils can all help children learn to hop across spaces, string multiple hops together, and hop in different directions to help improve balance, stamina, and muscular endurance. Additionally, once children master hop, to different components of the stencils, you may also have children try hopping on their other foot or even alternating feet every few hops to practice counting and coordination. Leap. A leap is a combination of a run with a projection forward from one foot to land on the other, so a running pattern with an increased flight time. A leap is closely related to both the jump and hop as children explore different movement patterns and rates to project themselves through space. Leaping is often seen when children attempt to jump or hop further distances, as leaping keeps one foot close to the ground while maneuvering the other through space. There are a lot of stencils, such as the keyboard, 
hopscotch and sunflower hopscotch that can promote leaping behaviors, specifically helping children to jump further distances and practice safely taking off and landing on opposite feet. Children may also practice taking off with their non-preferred foot once they have mastered their preferred side. Gallop. Galloping, skipping, and sliding all involve the fundamental movements of stepping, hopping, or leaping. Galloping is the first asymmetrical locomotor pattern that children learn. This involves an asymmetric gait, which means each leg is performing a different task. For a gallop, children will step forward on one foot and then leap step with the other foot. The same leg always leads with the steps. Arms can be used to help project the body forward and maintain a rhythm through several gallops. Early galloping is characterized by arrhythmic and stiff movements. Generally, stride lengths start short, vertical lift is exaggerated, and children tend to land flat-footed. Additionally, arms are not initially used to produce force, but are used to help maintain balance to the side. With practice, these gallops will become more rhythmical and coordinated, as will the ability to string together more gallops in a row. Several stencils, like hopscotch and sunflower hopscotch, pathway circuit and the keyboard stencil, can reinforce this movement pattern. Children should aim to string together multiple gallops with their preferred foot first. If this is challenging, children may start galloping at a walking pace and then slowly speed up as the movement pattern is mastered. If they are improving, you might also consider having them switch their lead foot so they can practice on their non-preferred side for this asymmetric pattern. Skip. Skipping is a step, then hop with one foot, with alternating feet. So step hop with the right foot, then step hop with the left foot in a rhythmical coordinated pattern. This is accompanied by arms bent and moving in opposition to the leg swing to help produce force through the hop. Generally, skipping is one of the last locomotor patterns to emerge because the movement is symmetrical, but the pattern is asymmetrical for each leg. This initially looks like a hop, then running step. When children refine this pattern a little more, it often resembles a step or gallop every few steps. Early skippers tend to have a high vertical hop with arms moving forward or sometimes in circles to assist with balance. With practice, skips becomes more coordinated and rhythmical, where children can perform more skips in a row. The hopscotch and sunflower hopscotch keyboard and pathway circuit stencils can assist in teaching children how to skip. You can have children practice stepping and hopping between objects on the sunflower hopscotch or using the pathway circuit to work on stringing multiple skips together. As skipping is a challenge for young children, you can modify this skill by having children walk through the pattern until taking it at full speed. Use aspects of the stencil to help guide children to different parts to step and hop through this skill. Slide. Sliding also involves an asymmetrical gait, which means each leg is performing a different task. For a slide, children will step sideways on one foot and then leap step with the other. The same leg always leads with the steps to the side. A large component for sliding is that this is a lateral movement where children face one direction but move in a completely different direction. Early on, as facing a different direction may impact sliding behaviors, this may often resemble a gallop where children turn their bodies in the same direction they are moving. Arms can be used to help children keep their body aligned forward and serve as a way to help balance through this movement pattern. Children may practice sliding using the hopscotch and sunflower hopscotch, pathway circuit, and keyboard stencils. An important cue is to have children's toes face straight ahead and keep their bodies turned while sliding. Arms can be helpful in maintaining the body in a straight line as children navigate the stencils. If you need to modify this skill, 
you can have children step to the side and then drag their opposite foot along a line to imitate the sliding behavior in a walking pattern. As children improve, you can make this harder by having children lead with their non-preferred side, as this will be more of a challenge. Now, with this knowledge, we hope you'll use painted stencils on your playgrounds to help children be more physically active and develop fundamental motor skills. Remember to use these lessons to help children run, jump, hop, leap, gallop, and skip. This video and toolkit was a joint effort by Louisiana State University's Pennington Biomedical Research Center and School of Kinesiology and is supported by Well Ahead Louisiana. It was funded in part by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana Foundation and the American Council on Exercise. Thank you.